Hi guys, it's Angela. And yep, as you can see, I accidentally got a new blender. <laughs> so what happened was that I was thinking about getting a blender a while ago, so I was looking at different blenders on Amazon. But then this day, I went to Walmart with my friend, and then I saw this exact same blender as I saw on Amazon. But the price was even lower than the price on Amazon. And then, well, as you can see, it just came home with me, so accidentally, I got a new blender. I'm on a half marathon training plan now because I'm doing a half marathon in October. Well, you probably can't tell from my appearance, but it's actually not my first time. And I've did several half marathons in the past. <laughs> so anyways, I like running at night because I have more time to run at night. And also I don't like sweating too much while I run. But then I end up eating four meals a day because, you know, I get hungry after I run. <laughs> However, after I got this blender, I just thought that it's probably not that kind of a good idea to eat four meals every single day. So I started to substitute the fourth meal with a glass of smoothie. And this recipe that I've been using a while is just so good that I have to share it with everyone. Well, I didn't do exactly the same thing as the recipe I found online because I like using ingredients that I already have and I just like keeping things simple. So I'm going to share the modified version of my recipe. There's actually quite a few things in this smoothie. So you need bananas, almond butter, oatmeal, flaxseed, cinnamon, and milk. A uh, quick tip. So I like my smoothie more icy, but I also try to be healthy by not adding additional ice cubes to it. So I normally just peel and slice my bananas beforehand and put them in the freezer so I can just make my smoothie anytime. And let's get started! So first I add the frozen bananas and then the oatmeal and then the flaxseed the almond butter some cinnamon and lastly add in the milk um, the reason that I did not specify the amount of everything I add in there is because that everyone has different personal preferences so you can always just adjust the ratio of everything you add in there plus I'm just not really into measuring so you know well now that we have everything in here we just put the lid on and then blend them all together um, I'm not sure how long that was I did not have the timer on, probably like a minute or two. But anyways, if you see that everything's blended well together, then you're all set. This smoothie really is an energy booster after my run. And because of the almond butter and oatmeal and whatever it is in there, it's not so liquidy and I just love the texture. If you got the time to do so, or if you just accidentally got the new blender just like me, <laughs> be sure to try out this recipe. You will not regret it, I promise. Alright, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to comment below your favorite smoothie recipe or any thoughts, leave it in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!